Hello everybody. Today I have for you a video to show you how to get Assetto Corsa working with Content Manager, SOL, Custom Shaders Patch, and the Shotoko Revival Project from a brand new game. I reinstalled everything. I have not done anything yet. It will be a fresh start. If you like what you see, subscribe to me. That'd be awesome. Like the video. That'd be awesome. Other than that, we're going to get right into it and I'll try to make this as quick as possible. I do apologize for the sensitivity of my mic today, it is a new one. Alright, so you have Assetto Corsa, the first thing you do is you do have to launch Assetto Corsa once. This will make Steam install the proper files that the game needs to run with the Content Manager. To get Content Manager, all you have to do is type it in on Google or whatever you're using. I am just reinstalled Windows shortly, so I have, uh, what is it, Microsoft Edge. Go to Content Manager on Assetto Corsa here, assettocorsa.club slash content dash manager dot html. And we're just going to scroll right down to the very bottom here, and we're going to look for the thing that says to install the light version. Uh, download light version right here. And we're going to go ahead and download that and open this up and you will have content manager in here and what I like to do is just take my content manager and put it into my desktop. Now it is also important to note throughout this process you will have to have WinRAR or 7-zip. Um, it doesn't matter which one you have honestly people will say oh get 7-zip it's better I don't have issues with it WinRAR has issues I don't have issues with anything um, the issue is apparently corrupting files, so if you want to follow what most people do and use 7-zip, go for it. I use WinRAR. So now we have Content Manager. It's dragged on the desktop. It was that easy to get. Launch it from your desktop here. And we are going to go ahead and make sure that our Steam ID matches and pay attention to the root folder where that goes. It'll be for me, x86, Steam Apps, Common, Assetto Corsa. Make sure you just know how to get there. And if you want 7-zip, you can install it right here, but I'm not getting that. So I have this all up here, and I'm just going to leave it how it is, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and install Content Manager. Right away, what I'm going to do is go to the top right, and I'm going to update to the latest version. Content Manager will restart. Alright, now you have the latest version. The next thing you're going to hear about is custom shaders patch. It's going to be the, the biggest thing that we have here. So all you have to do is once you have content manager, you've switched to the latest version. The full version is optional. It's uh, I think it's a dollar or it's by donation for the content manager. So you can go ahead and uh, look that up if you want to get that. I do have it. I'm not going to be using that right now. Install custom shaders patch wait for this to update. You can do auto update to recommended versions if you want. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it up like this. It's not going to give me any issues. And I'm going to go ahead and use 1.77. Pay attention to the servers you're joining online. You may have to use different versions. But for now, I will put it to its latest version and I'm going to just leave this as it is. Custom shaders patch is now installed. The next thing I'm going to do is install SOL, which is another modification thing for weather effects and stuff like that. Um, so let's go to racedepartment.com slash downloads slash SOL dot 24914. Now on race department, just make an account. It takes a couple minutes. It's free. Everything's good to go. Um, when you have your account, you sign up, log in, download SOL 2.21, and this is where you're going to need 7-zip or WinRAR. So let's just hit download here, and it's going to download. Now, one thing to pay attention to throughout the time you're installing files, you'll hear a lot of people in a lot of guides mention installing things into your root folder. However, just installing it into your root folder isn't always going to solve all of your problems. I recommend that you take the actual folders and install them into the folders themselves. So, for example, if you have a 
file and there's an extension folder in there and there's nothing else relevant and what you need to install is that extension folder, you can literally just drag that extension folder into where the extension folder is and have it overwrite stuff and it will work out fine or just install what it has to install. I will uh, demonstrate what I mean when I'm doing that here today. It's just a way to make sure that you're manually installing things properly and not relying on your PC and every and the files to just go into where they need to go. You can actually put them right into where they need to go and you won't have to worry about anything. And we will also go over the installing through Content Manager. I myself prefer to manually install everything using the folders over Content Manager because sometimes Content Manager doesn't work out properly. So while SOL 2.21 is installing, I will show you something in the content manager which we need to take care of, which is allowing your applications to run. So we'll go to a set of Corsa, we'll go to apps, and you're going to enable the developer apps as well. And this way when you have SOL and everything, it'll all work out properly. I don't have much else to uh, talk about while we wait for this to download. So just wait for this to download here. I do want to keep everything running and, and show everything from beginning to end. I don't want to cut out anything. I want to make it so, you know, if you watch this video, you do see everything you need to see. And if you just, you know, watch this video for the 10 minutes or so that it is, you're going to be successful. You won't have any problems running the game. <coughs> All right, so now we have SOL, and we're gonna be greeted with a mods folder in here. And what we need to do is, I like to go like this, and I will just move these to my desktop. Now what we need to do is access the Aceto Corsa root folder that I was telling you about, which we will get to by going to my PC, going to local disk, program 86, Steam, over to Steam Apps, to Common, to Aceto Corsa, and this is the root Aceto Corsa folder that everybody's talking about. So let's uh, just make this a little smaller, and this will be for the convenience of us putting files into here. Now what I will do is I will go back to my mods folder, which should be down here. Nope, I will open it up. Now this is the mods folder. Now you'll be greeted by all this stuff. You can just drag this SOL. You can drag the SOL into here and hope that everything works properly, which is what most people mean when they say drag, you know, the, the folder into your Aceto Corsa root folder. However, if you open it up and you drag all of these files, everything matches over here. There's an apps over here. There's a content over here. There's an extension and a system. So if I drag all of this stuff over into my root Aceto Corsa folder, it will go in there and everything will install properly. So now that we put this stuff in there, what we want to do, just to make sure, is we'll go ahead and close Content Manager, we'll reopen it, and now when we go to our apps, we should have, under these apps, the SOL stuff. And what you have to do is make sure that it's all checkmarked, and we'll go to here, and we will also make sure that it's all checkmarked here. So now I know that SOL is on here. The next thing we need to do just to make sure that's all working properly is go down to, I believe it's weather effects. And let's hop into weather effects here and we'll make sure that we're running SOL 2.2 with weather script SOL 2.2. And there you go. So now we know we have SOL, everything should be good to go. We have CSP everything should be good to go. The next thing that we need to do is get the cars and tracks to run a Shotoko Revival Project server. Now, unfortunately for me, I was actually banned from the Shotoko Revival Project server because I sent a Discord link to a couple of my friends that I have helped out in that server and some other people that I helped out, so they took that as mass spam and I got banned. Uh, no big deal. Today I'm going to be using a uh, server that I'm in right now as a support member. It's uh, Venus Motorsport Racing. This server here ha just has a mixture of different cars and track uh, mods and stuff like that that have been credited and everything. So 
Um, in this server here, and this goes for most servers as well, you will have a section where they have the links and stuff that you need. For this one, you need the Japanese DLC at the Steam Store, and there's a couple steps here. Just make sure you follow that stuff. Now, for me, I already know what I have to do here. I have to get the car pack, the normal car pack, and we'll go ahead and download that now. You're going to have to get a traffic pack, and whatever the server has that you need. So we'll need the track pack. But every server is different. Every server has different cars. Every server has a different thing going on. So whatever server you're deciding to play in, uh, you will actually have to download all sorts of different things for that. But the process is always going to be the same. So you don't have to worry about changing anything up. Once you know how to play on one server, you know how to get the stuff for all the servers. So it's no big deal. Uh, once again, we're just going to keep downloading this stuff and hopefully... Uh, if I download everything now all at once, the, the theory is that I can just keep giving you guys content for the video and not have any more blank space. Uh, the server track. So another thing that we're going to do real quick here is uh, we're going to go ahead and go to online and uncheck missing. And now we're going to look for the server that I'm actually going to be using. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that as I'm doing this, I'm getting all of these cars installed correctly. What I highly recommend is that you follow the guides and as you do things, as I've done things, you make sure that you do things and then you make sure they're working. So we got content manager. We made sure that was up to date and working. We got custom shaders patch we made sure that was up to date we got sol and we made sure that we have all the sol boxes checked and that the system is recognizing it and that it's working and now we're going to do the same thing for these cars i'm going to download these cars i will drag and drop them into content manager because that does always usually work for me but i will also show you the manual install and the only difference from the other one is that you take the car folder with all of the cars and you drag that into the car folder in your Assetto Corsa root car folder. So let's go ahead and install here. So I'll start with the VM racing and all I need to do here is drag these two folders into my content manager up to the boxes up here and they should transfer over and then what you have to do is install them with the content manager in the same section when you see the green arrow come up. So here we go. And now it's going to say install here. I don't want to install 7-zip. I'll just install the cars as they are in the folder. And now I should start to have a lot less missing cars. And I should be able to pick some of these cars. There we go. So all of these cars seem to have installed correctly. So now I can go ahead and move on to the traffic pack. I can drag those into my content manager up to the top right. And now, same thing as before, we'll just wait for those green arrows and we will hit install. And hopefully all of these work out properly now too. Perfect. So, um, now it looks like we are just missing the track, which is the next part that we'll do. But first, what I want to do is I want to show you what I would have done if I was using my Assetto Corsa folder to get those cars in. So, I'm back at the main folder here, and what we will do is go into the content, and we will go into the cars. And this is every car that you have installed in your game. So if you want to manually do it, you go back to one of your car folders, you open up the car folder, you drag all of these cars into the white space here, and that will install them. Don't put them in a folder, install them into the white space. And that's how you manually install. So if the content manager doesn't work, you manually install it that way, and you will be successful. So the last thing that we need is the track, which is right here. I'm not sure if I downloaded that already, I can't remember. No, I didn't download that yet. That'll be a quick one. And then the same thing, we're going to drag that into the content manager 
and install that. Now, if everything was done correctly, as soon as I put this track in, I should be able to just go ahead and launch into an online session right now. In that short time frame, everything should be done. There shouldn't be any more, you know, concerns. I have a couple other videos up that have um, different types of graphics settings for you to improve your frames per second. You know, if you're running an older graphics card, maybe you can disable some of these settings and you can get your game to run a little better with, you know, the exception of a little bit less graphical niceness to it, which to me, I prefer to have a game that's running 90, 100, 110 frames per second that looks decent than the game that looks amazing that's running at 40 or 50 frames. Um, I do only have a 1650 Super, so with my graphics card, you know, compared to yours, lots of people have a tier like mine, lots of people have one just a little bit less is good. Lots of people have better ones, so I can play this game comfortably with mine. There's probably no reason why you shouldn't be able to, unless you got something really old school, like a 700 series. Um, so let's go ahead and drag this track in here, and just throw it in there. Should have that green arrow pop up in a sec here. And we'll install that. So now, if everything was done correctly, I should just be able to hop in a car now and join it. If I can't join it, uh, we will diagnose this together and we'll go through what might be an obvious issue. Failed to initialize virtual reality. Okay, so uh, one thing that I missed was when you install this stuff, you actually have to quickly change your resolution settings. So I'm just going to quickly uh, close this window here. And we will go into the settings. Okay, let's cancel that. So go to your settings, go to a set of Corsa in the top left, make sure you go to your video. And I don't know why it's Oculus Rift, I don't have that. I have a single screen. I do have two screens, but I'm only going to use one for the game. And I don't want a custom resolution. I want my resolution at 144 hertz. I don't want my frame rate limited. And we will just roll with that for now just to see if everything's working. I am going to come in here and I'm going to follow one of my other videos. I'm going to change everything in here. So don't follow these settings. Follow your own that you like. Alright, now let's go back in. Now let's see if we can join. Let's see what's going on now. Use extra effects. Okay, so... The normal motion blur is enabled by default in the Aceto Corsa settings, and so is Extra Effects. Now, I usually don't use Extra Effects because it's really graphically demanding. However, for the sake of most normal graphics cards and higher tier stuff, we will disable motion blur here. And hopefully with this disabled, we can now join this online session. So another thing to note, while you're loading in on the bottom left, if you're loading in normally and then you have an issue, it usually will stop on one of these things and it will show you what is going on. So everything's loading in smooth. If I get to car 12 and it freezes and it crashes, I know there's a problem with car 12. That's essentially the rule of thumb here. So just keep that in mind. If you're loading in and it stops at CSP, you might not have the right CSP version. CSP is your custom shaders patch. So we'll just remember all that as we go along too, that it will really help you with diagnosing different types of crashes without having to go through the, the weird crash report thing and try and find out what's going on that way. You can watch the bottom left of your screen as you're loading in to find out what's going on with your game. Also, I am pretty active. You know, if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I will answer anybody's questions and concerns. I will one-on-one -on -one help people. I don't really do a whole lot. Um, I'm definitely here to help people out and just get things rolling for people that are just starting out. So everything looks smooth here. It looks like we're running in pretty good. All right, so... With that short amount of time, I can now load in to a game, and I'm in a uh, in a match here. I'm online. If we drive around for a bit, we might see some other people. Now, you'll notice, yeah, there is some funky stuff going on here. These lights are flashing and glowing. I got uh, those buildings in the background are flickering kind of weird. 
this is stuff that uh, all you have to do is just go through settings and change it. Now I have a video for other settings, um, different graphical settings, how to change all your light, lighting settings, how to disable that weird blurry stuff and just get everything properly. Um, another thing too is if you are coming in here for the first time, you do want to take your time and you want to go through some controls that I do need to show you here. So go into your controls, make sure you get all your stuff how you want it. Don't worry about your handbrake if you don't have one because you can go over to another section and, and fix that up too. So just make sure this is all good. You can actually adjust everything here. I like my brake sensitive, so I have a you know sensitive brake. You can see by the numbers here, it's, it's from 15%. So I rest my foot on my brake without it doing anything. And then when I push it 15% to 70%, so I got 45, 55% in there is all I push my pedal for max. Now your buttons, you got a ton of different buttons. You can assign a bunch of different things to. This is very important. Go through this stuff, you guys. Go through all of this. Get all this stuff bound. This stuff will save you so much time in the future. Make Get all this stuff right. You can do everything here. And then your force feedback, I will, I'm will. i not going to show you how to do it, but there's a thing called LUT generator, and I highly recommend that you use a LUT generator to disable the... Um, basically what it does is it makes up for all of the dead zones and everything in your wheel as it's going. What you want is a linear, I believe that's how you say that word, a linear scale going from the bottom left to the top right in a nice, you know, straight kind of line. Um, some people have a dead, dead zone and it doesn't do anything until it hits 30%. So you can have a really bad graph with your linear curve of your force feedback so I highly recommend getting a LUT generator as well. So anyways, that's all that you need. That's, I'm going to end it here. That's everything that you need. I just showed you how to get everything to play on a server online. That's all you need to do. Uh, have a good day. And if this helped you out, like and subscribe. Ask questions. I will answer your questions. Have a good day, everybody. Take care.